You know, just because an image is final doesn't mean it has to be final. You can always go back and check over it, especially if your craft changes over the years. That's what I've been doing as of late, so let's have a little chat. Well, what about you guys? How's it going? Hope you're all keeping well today. Hope everything is good where you are. Hope you're all keeping safe and hope you're all keeping healthy. Sorry I've been a little quiet as of late. I've been pretty busy lately, so mostly with work. And I've also been doing up the office a good fair bit because you've seen from my recent videos, I did get the LED light strips all throughout the room. But I've also been doing a lot of rejigging on a lot of stuff. So you might have remembered my corner desk over here on this side of the room. Well, I've gotten rid of that. And it's a shame because it was my dad's old desk. But and I really wanted to start revamping the room. So I got rid of that and I got a brand new desk. That's this bad boy here. Picked it up good and cheap in B&M for only 50 quid. And I have to say, I love it. And it fits into this space. You probably might remember the photo cabinet was here so it's now over at the other side of the room where the old desk used to be and I just have to wait for other stores to open up before I can do other things but I've been really loving how the office has been coming along. But yeah I just wanted to thank you guys very quickly just for taking part in my recent Instagram poll where I asked what video topic I should cover next. One of them was how I edit my photographs and the other was this option and I was quite amazed that this one was what won the poll because yeah you know, I, I would have sort of thought you would have wanted to see how I generally edit my photos but I think this topic and the other one should actually correspond a little bit together but yeah this this video essentially just more or less talks about what all I've been doing throughout lockdown so yeah thanks again guys for taking part and of course if you're not following me on Instagram all the links are down in the bottom uh, there's a lot more content that is shared on that so it'd be great if you came along hit a wee follow and come and say hi and of course while you're down there don't be afraid to hit subscribe so you can stay up to date with future videos every time you hit subscribe just means i get to push out more and more content and it's always greatly appreciated so yes photographers lockdown really affected us we weren't able to get going out and doing our main body of work like for me i wasn't able to get going to any gigs because of course there was no gigs happening they had to all be cancelled and all so yeah it sucked that that all happened and hopefully there's a wee bit more of an end in sight as of late but yeah we've, we've had to sort of adapt and sort of do other things and i mean for myself i've been able to do more landscape day-to-day -day sort of photography and of course focusing on the this channel here but the one thing that i've also been doing and it's something that i've done over the years but i've been really focusing on throughout lockdown is going over old photographs and working on my editing style because just because you push out a photograph and you say this is the final image doesn't necessarily mean it's the final image as you grow and you adapt as a photographer your style changes your technique changes lots of different things and you start going back to old photos and going why did I edit it like that when I can do it like this and you know sometimes yes the final image can certainly be the final image but I've been finding a lot of times that if I go back to really old photographs and see what all I can do then I can just bring out so much more or maybe just change how it looks so it's never a bad thing to just go and revisit your old photographs so this is what this video is all about I just wanted to show you some photographs that I've been working on as of late and why you should revisit your old photographs and maybe re-edit them because you can certainly bring out so much more in a photo that you maybe not have seen at the time but whereas now as your style has progressed and changed then you can start to see a whole the photograph a whole lot more differently see I've just got a few images here open up on the computer that I'm just going to scroll through and show you what all I've been able to do with these show you the original the what I considered the final edit at the time and show you what I've done now because th there will be photographs here that there probably isn't the biggest of difference but it's enough to make a little bit of a difference to the shot so let's get having a look at these then shall we so I'm just you know we're, we're going to start off here with this shot of this, this was taken off uh, Northern Irish band The Answer and this was them in the Mandela Hall I took this what nearly 10 years ago and this is the final edit that I got I did it in black and white and although it's really striking what I really find coming back to this photograph is that you know you lose a lot of the details like with the musicians like you can't really see the singer's face it's all very glary and back then I was very much into 
really high contrast and I'm still into that now but when you see what I've done to this photograph because yes we've got black and white and all going on here very striking all you're, you're, you're drawn more to what's happening here rather than what's going on with the band so this was what I considered the final edit whereas now I've done a brand new edit and it looks like this so I changed the black and white to color just to see what it looks like and I was just amazed at just how much more detail was able to come out so all the different color ranges that have been going on I did a different crop so more of like a 16 by 9 ratio so that way you're taking away the distraction from the top and putting more of a focus onto the band plus you can see that this crowd surfer has come out into the shot a little bit more whereas in the original shot you know you don't really see him all that much whereas you know you can see him a good fair bit more with the way I've changed the editing style, you can now start to see the singer is now more shown, the guitarist is now more shown. So you ju just what a difference doing something like that can do is just go. I mean, this rat was taken 10 years ago and it's amazing how at the time, you know, I thought the original edit looked good. And it, yeah, in some aspects, it does look pretty good. But what a difference it looks now. But let's let's keep going on then. So again i have another photograph here this 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 isn't all going to be black and white to color but i did want to see what i because i did go through a period where i was really loving black and white i was doing quite a lot of black and white to my gig shots but i just wanted to see what those black and whites would look in color so i have here matt tuck from bullet for my valentine and this shot here was actually on the front cover of a book which you can actually still order and get so i'll put the link in the description down there it's it's the front cover of that book. I think it's called Scream and Conquer. It's it's just a book about the band. I was really honoured to have that on the front cover. And it just looks so cool. But yeah, so I have this image here. And it's just so really striking. The blacks are all so deep. It's so contrasty. It's a really striking image. However, what I really wanted to do is see what it looked like in colour. Because when you have a look at the colour version, what I've done now. See what all has been done. So... I was able to sort of bring back all the reds that were in before just to see what it looked like plus did other different things like get rid of that light that was over at the top and fix up the crop so he's a little bit more straighter. I also did it at an 8 by 10 so a 4 by 5 ratio crop so it's a little bit more tighter in but the details are just a little bit more subtle but it's been able to bring out so much more whereas the original image yes it still looks really cool but there's just so much contrast going on that you start to lose out on everything else. So with bringing in the color, I was able to just bring out some more, so much more details here that you maybe probably wouldn't have recognized at all before. And even then, just to, you know, that light was a bit of a distraction. So getting rid of that, but still showing that a little bit of a glimmer of a light. So it's a little bit more further up. You know, it's, it's amazing what all you can do by just having a little play about. Now, the good thing is it doesn't necessarily have to be music photography. That's just what I've been working on the most as of late because that's the most photographs I have. But I have been working on day-to-day -day shots that I took before. Like, say this photograph here I'm going to show you. This is off Harlan and Wolf. This is the famous cranes of Northern Ireland, Samson Goliath. We also have the Blackford Dolphin, which was an oil rig that was in at the time. This was a good few years back. Uh, I was working at Giro d'Italia for the Titanic Foundation at this time, and I just took this shot for them. And I love this photo. This is one of my favorite shots of the Harlan and Wolf cranes. But looking back at it now, I just really am not happy with just you know i, th I think the, the i thought the blacks could have been a little bit more subtle plus i should have really played about with the white balance because you can see here it's it's looking a little bit more on the greeny side <laughs> whereas if you see what i've done with the new edit just as we see here so we've toned down those blacks so they're a little bit more subtle to bring out all the sort of finer details of this shot because they're all starting to pop a different sharpening technique was used here too we've worked in that sky so it's a, it's showing a bit more detail but the yellows are looking a lot more yellow now details are just really starting to come out plus with playing about with the white balance i was able to just get rid of that green and make it look a lot more natural but what a difference that has made i mean the original shots the original edit itself looks cool but what a difference this has made and see to be honest when it comes to my editing style as of late all i've really been doing is 
hitting auto in Lightroom to see what it's going to give me and then just play about from there on in and there's been profiles that I have loved working with. If you're not familiar with Adobe profiles you can hit the video in the top right hand corner. It's probably my favorite section of working with Camera Raw or Adobe Lightroom is playing about with profiles. So yeah just what a difference that has made to that shot and it's it's uh, one of my all-time favorite photographs. Even outside of all these edits I've shown you where I've gone from changing color to black and white, toning down the contrast, playing about with profiles, playing about with the white bands. These are all quite drastic edits, but even a subtle edit can really change your image. I mean, I have a photograph here, this next shot. I just did this last night just as a little play about because I made just a subtle difference, but it's been really able to bring out a lot more to my shot. So let's have a look at it. So this is a photograph of musician Devin Townsend when he came to Belfast. And this is the original edit here. Looks really cool. Looks really, really uh, in your face. The lighting is just so class, very contrasty. However, what I've done is I, I played about with this photograph again. And when, when you look at the next um, shot, this is the new edit. You can see that the, the difference isn't much, but it has made a difference. It's made things a lot more subtle. It's put more of an attention on Devin. I mean, yes, this is striking, but when we look at the new edit, you can see that his face is showing a lot more. It's not as punchy, it's not as contrasty. You know, we've toned down those lights a little bit more. So that way it's been able to put more of an attention on him rather than what was going on here. And again, I use that 8x10 crop. I've been playing with an 8x10 crop as of late just to put more of an attention on what's going on in the shot. But, you know, again, the differences are not much. They're very subtle. But, you know, I just love what I was able to get from the new edits. So it's a subtle difference but it's really helped draw a lot more attention to the musicians. So yeah, it doesn't always have to be, oh, let's go and change this fully. It can be something so little. So yeah, just because you have a photograph that you've edited and you've seen it as a final shot, doesn't necessarily mean it's final. What a difference I've been able to make with these photographs. And you should always, always look over your old photos and re-edit them and see what's going on, what else you can do to the photograph because your style will always change and your techniques will always change. And as softwares as well start upgrading as well, they start to bring in new things. So you should always keep tabs and keep a recollection as to what all you're doing change it up a little bit, see what all you can get because, you know, again, a subtle difference can really change your photograph. So what are you guys saying? Do you go over old edits and see what all else you can do? Or is the final image the final image? Let me know in the comments down below some of your thoughts. And of course, if you like these images or if you see something different that I could have done to these shots, well, again, I would love to hear your opinion. So please leave a comment down below. If you want to see more of my photos, you can hit my Instagram. Just head on to the description in the the video just so you can check out my social medias and of course if you enjoyed this video do like share subscribe and hit that wee bell icon so that you can stay up to date with future content but until then guys please continue to take care of yourselves and enjoy the rest of your day